and it is the Rams who are the entertainers of this West Ham side who are desperate for a victory to get them on the move and hopefully kickstart their season under David Moyes. The Cup, a welcome distraction, but also a potential catalyst. Six changes for David Moyes' side. So some faces also looking to prove themselves for this running to come. Himself and, as you say, former West Ham assistant boss Neil McDonald here at Pride Park. The pitch looks lush and green. A huge contingent of West Ham fans over to our far side. They will be roaring on the hammers tonight. Will it be hammer time? We shall see. Derby throw midway inside their own half. Hayden Roberts comes down this left-hand side, plays the ball a little further forward. Back it goes into Conor Hurahan, who will push one into the channels for Barkhausen to chase. Barkhausen's got away. Barkhausen left side of the penalty area, rolls it across. West Ham just about get it clear. And that was danger there from Derby, who has shown real confidence early doors, Neil McDonald. Simple ball over the top, isn't it? That's what they're going to do. They put, a, put it in behind. Johnson is out to this right-hand side and receives the ball. Low ball in towards uh, Antonio, straight to Craig Forsyth. And Derby can look to clear now, and it's Derby's turn to push the ball around neatly. Max Bird almost up to halfway. Tackled though, and now here comes Antonio, racing towards the penalty He's got some ball here and outside of him. If he can find it, even Socek went for the shot. Missed it wide of the mark, goal kick to Derby, but it's thronging in here, an absolutely terrific atmosphere. Yeah, they've set the little set the little traps there, having a let it play through midfield and then go really, really tight. They won the ball back really good there. Antonio had a shot, well worth a shot, uh, just went wide of the goal, so that's their first chance anyway. Forced back inside their own half this time to Mendes Lang, who's moved into midfield, he's dropped into that quarterback role and he's been hassled and harried and yeah, he's pinched has it again. pinched. Here comes Bowen striding towards the edge of the pelt area, Bowen just on his left foot, straight at Wildsmith. Good save in the Derby man, although it was straight at him, Bowen had a little bit of support there, but that's another chance for West Ham. Yeah, he should have hit that better or he should have squared it to uh, Antonio who would have tapped that in there. Now Socek, a little bit further out of the pelt area they've gone now, West Ham down that left-hand side. Socek holds possession, rolls it into Antonio, spins on the edge of the pelcher, tries to get a shot away, it loops off a Derby player at close range. Now Antonio again flicks the ball in towards Bowen, Socek's made the run, Bowen gets it in, and Bowen tucks it in! Great finish from Jared Bowen, 10th minute of the game, West Ham United take the lead, and might just have punctured some of the optimism around Pride Park. Bowen on the mark, West Ham off the mark, Derby no West Ham won. Yeah, that's really good, they've had a sustained little bit of pressure, passing, moving the ball in the right areas, getting into the final third, and had two or three that could have finished that one there, but a uh, great finish, and well deserved, well deserved, it was huff and puff for the first couple of minutes there, they've settled down, now they're starting to dictate the, the tempo, and they've got their just reward, and it's a great start, great goal, great goal. Now Herderham moves it forward, out to Corey Smith on that right-hand side, is it Mendes Lang, sorry, looking to take on the West Ham United defence, Topok supporting to the middle, it's cleared, taken down well by Hurahan, who lashes the volley, but it was always veering wide of Alphonse Ariola's crossbar, and it's a goal kick to West Ham at that, it's like, just roused the home support a bit yeah, there. It does. Well worth the shot, but miles off target, no problem. Inside their own half, it'll be Aguerre who takes a touch and then hoists one. Almost hit and hope stuff from West Ham that time. Oh, it's headed on by Barkhouse and Collins looking to bring it down. O'Connor got a touch. Johnson, cool as you like, brings the ball under control and then plays the ball into midfield for Fornells. And then Fornells rolls it out to Bowen. Good step up that time by Forsyth though. And then the ball dinks over the top and here goes Barkhouse and he's into the box. Dinks one in for Collins. Whack that one well wide of the target. The Derby supporters enjoying the endeavour of their team, West Ham. To be fair, though, still had them at arm's length. Yeah, they did, and uh, that would have been some goal, wouldn't it? A volley from outside the box. Derby, clearly, the blueprint for them is get the ball in behind. Knight made a darting run, instead it goes all the way back to Forsyth. Now they played it in towards Knight on the edge of the pelt area, gets it out of his feet, but he's under pressure, and his low shot just streaks wide of Alphonse Ariola's post. I think he knew where it was going all the way, the France international, so it wasn't really uh, particularly ruffled, but uh, 
Good job he got his angles right. Yeah, he just yeah I think he had his angles right. When you when you see a goalkeeper really moving quickly and he's going up his feet and he's diving full stretch, he knew that was wide, no problem at all. Derby are pressing. If they get past that first press, then they're into the final third and then uh, trouble for Derby, to be fair. Real hoist of a throw into the pouch area. This one breaks for Bowen. Right side of the box here for West Ham. Turned into Antonio! Buries the header! And West Ham United double the lead. Well, it was an unfortunate touch which deflected it into the path of Antonio, who made no mistake. And West Ham now surely are on course for the fifth round. Derby nil, West Ham two. Yeah, you don't miss them. What a great ball from uh, Bowen with his right foot right across the face of the goal. And again, Antonio in the right place, fantastic goal. They hunted the ball back. They've got it into the, into the final third and they've been very, very clinical again. That's the first chance, first goal in the second half. And for me, even though it's 49 going on 50 minutes, that's game over. We said an early goal would kill it and you know, we, we, that's my most likely is what we've just seen. And again, the combination again, Bowen and... Antonio, Antonio and Bowen. David Moyes, the manager on the sideline there, will be really pleased, really chuffed the way they started the second half and they've killed it off with the second goal. Corey Smith finds Max Bird, urged to shoot, lashes that one over the top. Yep, another 25-yard okay. shot. It's all Hollywood hit and hope, isn't it? And uh, they're, not, they're not getting the hope at the moment, Derby. No, they just can't, uh, can't show that little bit of composure, which certainly West Ham are in the final third there and just snatching at it two up top one behind now Bowen and uh, Ben Rama up top with their uh, four nulls in the hole lots of rotation between the three and that's for sure Dobbin picked out in space here for Derby looking to run out Emerson holds his ground the ball into the middle and it flicks off the head of a Derby player and away and it was offside says the referee but as that ball came in it's almost as if Hayden uh, Roberts jumped up and didn't just didn't properly connect and then when it did drop to a derby player, they were offside. Yeah, uh, forward runs, yep, inside the box, really good cross into the danger area, that's all you can do. Just got ahead of yourself again, Collins. Now it's Emerson down this left-hand side, cuts inside the tackle of Forsyth, rolls it into Ben Rama, lovely footwork to Bowen, great save, Wildsmith, the flag stayed down. West Ham United denied... But that was intricate football from the house. Oh, that's how you play one and two touch football, and you play one twos, and you get into the box. You should have scored there. To be fair, that was a brilliant play. Ben Rama just laid him in. He should have, he should have went right or left of the goalkeeper instead of going down the middle, and he should have had his second goal there. Really hunting the second ball really well, aren't? And the knockdowns. And now they're just starting to make Derby chase shadows of it. Oh, beautiful nutmeg from Emerson to Ben Rama. And then Ben Rama sets off and gives the ball back to Emerson. Down this left-hand side, approaching the Pelch area. Manchester took it into Ben Rama. Ben Rama drifts it out towards Johnson. Johnson with the shot! Oh, what a hit that was! Great save, Wildsmith. And the ball's still not cleared. Derby eventually get it away. What a rasper that was from Johnson. And equally good goalkeeping from the Sheffield-born Wildsmith. Corey Smith picks out Dobbin. Dobbin tries to go on the outside, a low shot into the midriff of Alphonse Areola. First shot on target from uh, Dobby, I think, isn't it? In the whole of the game, Areola dealt with that no problem at all, took it right in his midriff. He hasn't had much to deal with, but what he has, he's done professionally really, really good. David Moyes side looking to get on their bikes into the fifth round. It's a just got away with that one with it being right at the end. That <laughs> normally, a yellow card, that one for pulling back Aaron Questrel there, just killing the game off again. That's and it. that is it. David Moyes' side, West Ham United, are into the fifth round for the third season running. They've come to Derby, in form League One side Derby, and avoided the banana skin. Manchester United lie in wait. David Moyes' side, pick up some confidence, a big win. And a place in the next round. Final score from Pride Park, Derby County nil, West Ham United 2.